There's a couple bees flying around in, in here, but we're gonna. And and I'm sorry, that, but the Alamo is is on, and I want to watch that movie. So uh, deal with the background noise. Uh, I take it easy when I'm doing this. I don't. It, it, it could. I'm still having my morning coffee. I think I'm gonna try using this knife. It's just a cake knife. It bends, it's real flexy. I've been using this for, I found it in my mom's garage and I'll, I, can't, I doubt I'll ever find another knife like this. And it's got a carbon steel blade. You could sharpen this razor sharp. Maybe I ought to sharpen it first. Put it to a steel. That's pretty sharp. My wife hands me the frames. I need a hive tool. Oh, you have to go get one. This is thick, honey. I can tell it's sticking to the knife. So it's ripe. A bunch of what? We'll deal with the bees. I cut the frame there a little bit. Mm. This is what happens when the honey is capped during the flow. That it's, I get to cut it off. If it's capped when it isn't a honey flow, it's kind. Then I have to bend the knife and kind of, it's, it gets where I can't scrape the wet, the cappings off, and we gotta use the, the other tool. But this is really good. Do you want to extract some? I, I let my wife do it sometimes. So I can get a break. And I don't need a break, I just wanted to give her a chance. Ooh, this. Ah. They'll rebuild that back. I need a scratcher, would you? Thank you. They don't all do perfect. Thank you. 
my heart to know that there are holocausts to this very day. I don't even notice the beast. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's one right there. Sure. See how nice this knife works? I usually don't do it so slow. I can put these back to get refilled. That's the beauty of the the honey flow has just begun. I got to get as much honey as I can from the few hives that I have this year, just to keep my customers. They kind of depend on me. which is a good thing. People will have a hard time finding a good honey man. And when they find one, they want to keep them. I hope I can keep doing this for 10 more years at least. Okay, this halfway done on the, the box. Drip dripped on the tank. I'm gonna wipe my hands off. I just licked my fingers. It's okay. I'm just making sure they don't crawl out and get on you. This isn't capped, but it's good and ripe. I could tell by it doesn't leak out. That's ripe honey. This one's kind of light. Got three more to go. This is going well. We've had times where it wasn't so well. It's still good and ripe. Two more frames. Yep. I'll have to do a whole lot on that one. 
get to see the use of the scratcher. This is how I do it. There's other people do it this way. And it, it clogs up the screen on the on the filter. I shouldn't call it a filter, but it clogs up the screen on the strainer. That's right. I'll get a shot of the filter once we get the honey flowing. It's going to be a little wobbly on the spinny. But that's what it looks like on the inside. It's loaded up all the way. I just put it half full, uh, 10, 10 frames of honey. And there's the screen and the bucket. I got honey on me, I'm gonna wipe it off. Oh, this needs plugged in. I'm gonna put it on speed four. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, it's thick. It's not even spinning. It's not spinning out at all. Well, it's coming out. It's coming out real slow. I'll speed it up. Speed six. It's starting to wobble. I should have balanced the load better. I got all that full frames on one side and then the half frame ones on the other. I'm just gonna let it spin on four or five for 15 minutes. We'll get long enough to where we can see some honey come out and test it. For testing the honey, I got a refractometer. How it works is it has a prism put a thin layer of honey and then look through the prism and it and you can get a reading okay there's some coming out Put a little on the like that. And that's when I get a taste. And you take it to a light source. Seventeen and a half percent. That's just right out the, the line. 
It's good, honey. Tastes minty. Mm -hmm. It'll probably test out higher than, I mean lower, I mean, it'll be, the thin honey comes out first, so I imagine the thick stuff will be a little later. This will probably test out at 17 or 16 and a half percent in the bucket. Yeah, I licked my tool off. <laughs> That's how you clean it. I guess you could wipe it off, but I like the taste of honey. It tastes good. That's the quality control. And this is, hasn't even went to the strainer yet. The, the extractor will spin much faster, but it'll go. It'll, it'll, it's out of balance right now. As it gets lighter, we can speed up. And I don't have it fastened to the to the walls either. I sped it up. You get the idea, this takes a long time. Good honey takes a long time. Thanks for watching, bye bye.